Today's tool is the Agile Product Vision Statement. Hey guys, I thought I'd come back on real quickly. So we've been covering Agile tools. And so um, all part of this communication tool series, uh, the projects we've been doing, or the tools we've been doing are for small projects. But what we've done is we've cracked into the Agile tools. And so I'm super excited about showing you that. Uh, the next tool we're gonna cover is the Product Vision Statement. So let's go look at that vision statement now and go into the details of it. Okay, so here's a vision statement. The product vision statement provides a concise description of the project goals that help the team remain focused on the critical aspects of the project. I can't stress that enough. Every product, every project needs a product vision statement, okay? And agile teams are just much more successful when they can pivot around that. Um, and so again, this is really a normal and a, the, one of the first artifacts that you create for all of these um, Agile products. And so let's look at the planning questions for that. So when would you create it? Again, all these tools are generally done in the initiation and the planning process, but, provide, but you're doing it for providing that concise description of the project goals, right? Who's gonna use it? All aspects of the team, executives, right? Everyone kind of involved. Um, what does it do? do? It lays the foundation for creating the artifacts for the product. And so here, and I, and I wanted to leave that right dead center, right? So basically the product vision statement has a template. And the template is for the target customer, who the statement or need, the, the product, the, is a, that, and unlike, right? Uh, and so basically what you're doing here is you're basically filling in this template and by the end result of this template, you actually have yourself a great product vision statement that the team can rally around as you execute the project. How will you distribute it? Document, email, document control system. How often? Really throughout the life of the project, but it's gonna be something that people will continue to refer back to. What decisions? Well, you have to have a product vision statement because once you have that product vision statement, you can make trade-off decisions and project decisions based on that vision statement. Right, And so it's really about kind of getting that information out there. Uh, what information does it provide? Well, schedule, cost, right? But it's going to be really focused on this for, who, the, is a, that, and unlike. And uh, we'll show you what that looks like when it comes up. Historical information and then what staff members are going to require to use it uh, and maintain it. And again, it's probably the scrum master or the product team in general. Uh, in an agile project, you don't want to lay it down to just one person. So let's go into the deep, uh, this or that, uh, the deep kind of the deeper details. Introduction to the statement. Again, this is just the description I read out. The product, the tool value. Uh, here it is again. Here's that template. I strongly suggest you use a template to get that good product vision in place. But what I want to do is jump into an actual definition. So here's the definition. For smartphone users who want to journal their daily activities, the journaling application is a mobile journaling application, so it's a mobile phone app, that allows them to track their daily activities, unlike the EZ personal log journaling application, our product will allow people to upload journaling information to social media, right? And so what you're doing is you're basically describing the vision of what you want this product to do. So it's a rally statement, right? We want to do this. Hey, this company is doing X. Our product's going to do Y plus X plus Z, right? And so it's a vision statement. It's really that high-level uh, statement. Uh, the planning around it, who gets involved in it, obviously stakeholders, product owner, uh, the planning to use a vision, a vision statement. Again, it's really that 55,000 foot level. I really love that. I'll just highlight that real briefly because that's what you're thinking when you're thinking a vision statement. All right, that's all I have. Thank you again. Uh, check it out, Project Management Communication Tools. If you like the video, like it, uh, subscribe, comment on it, and share it with your friends. Thank you very much. I'll see you online.
Excited to walk you through this. So as part of our course that we've been walking through, the Project Management Communication Tools course I've been putting up on YouTube and you guys have been watching, um, a lot of people are asking me about how do I get the actual files and how do I get this information. So a couple of things I wanted to point out. Um, if you jump into the paid tools, there's really two or three components I want to show you here. First of all, all the various PDF files. So for projects, for small projects, here's a PDF file and what we've done, and you've seen this before, but we've broken down the tools of what you should use for small projects, what you should use for medium projects, what you should use for large projects. So we've broken all those down. And so as we go through this course, you're going to see, and I'll just jump into one of them, for example, um, you're going to see it's really a PDF of the book. Um, it's 158 pages. So as you, we go through the course and we look at uh, customer requirements and you actually see all the text and stuff that we're going through, that comes directly from the book. Um, and so what we've done here is we've broken them down. So small projects from one week to three months. Here are the tools in initiation. Here are the tools in planning and so on and so on. So you guys can go check those out on my store at any time. Um, I'll come back and again, of course, there's the medium projects and then for large projects. Now, again, if you're looking for the tools, so you actually love these and you don't want to hand type these, these tools are certainly right available right there. So again, it's really, really important as we walk through um, and you guys understand the tools and you want to start using the tools, you can certainly hand type all these tools, uh, not a problem, or you can spend that low, low price and grab these tools and make them available for you right now. So very very excited i just want to spend a couple minutes it's dowpublishingllc.com slash store dash two um, very easy to find the files are right there and again thank you very much and i'll talk to you all soon thanks